Howdy everybody, Sully Man back again to show you today how to apply a Plastisol Distressed um, grunge to some artwork that you may have. Uh, I have this one set up and I'm going to go ahead and distress this portion of the text. And I basically, in my symbols panel, and I'm going to use the symbol sprayer tool to um, create this te technique as well as um, an opacity mask. Um, and in my symbols panel, I basically, this, I mean, these are pretty much all the distressed symbols that I really ever use. And Plastisol, basically, what that is, is the ink used to screen print t-shirts. And when Plastisol gets overcooked or the ink dries out or it's been washed too much, it starts to crack or, or um, get roughened up, you know, from, from the wash. And I basically have, you know, washed out Plastisol, Plastisol cracks, all sorts of different stuff. I even have like letterpress, um, you know, if you're doing like stamps and things of that nature, um, some fabric distressing, um, and some block press too. That's that's when you even carve out wood and, and you know the the markings that it leaves behind when you're doing block press to stamp wood and stuff. And uh, quick stipple brushes um, that you've probably seen in the previous video. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be using these. I'm actually gonna make these available for purchase in the Pixel Mosh Pit store. So if you guys want to use these too, it's pretty comprehensive. These are really all I ever use for my clients. Um, and uh, you know, and mix with the symbol sprayer tool and opacity mask. It's super effective. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and select the artwork that I want to um, distress. I'm gonna hit Control C to copy. You can always head up edit to copy. Uh, but I'm going to be using shortcuts. So edit, control, C to copy. I'm going to head over to the transparency panel and apply the opacity mask. So I'm going to hit make mask. I'm going to make sure I activate it. You see the blue box around the artwork on the canvas. Make sure you activate the mask canvas. Um, now just a little bit on masks or opacity masks. Black completely knocks out or makes invisible white makes completely visible and anything in between you know any sort of grays will leave um, you know a percentage of opacity uh, so that that's the science behind opacity masks uh, I'm now going to go ahead and hit control shift V as in Victor uh, to paste in place uh, what I had pre uh, previously copied I'm going to go ahead and apply white to the fill which will now make it visible and you can see it reflects in the thumbnail uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to open up my symbols panel. I'm going to activate my symbol sprayer tool, and I'm going to go ahead and select um, one of these symbols. I think I'm going to start with this kind of broken up fabric texture here. Now a uh, quick shortcut with your symbol sprayer tool, the open and close brackets will resize your brush. So you can see with open and close, I'm resizing. Uh, so I'm going to size it down, and I'm just going to start with my Wacom tablet just kind of knocking in some of this fabric here fabric texture. Now I'm not too fond of the sizing so with within the simple sprayer there's a whole bunch of sub tools so they actually have um, the, you know, the shifter, the scruncher which will scrunch them together. They're all pretty um, straightforward. I'm sure you can figure them out. So I'm going to use the sizer tool. Um, now the only thing that you really need to know with these tools um, by default they'll enlarge things you know with the sizer tool. If you hold down alt it'll shrink things. So I'm going to hold down all and tap these and kind of shrink them down. Um, you know, with these specific fabric ones, you kind of want to make the dots about the same size because, you know, fabric's essentially a pattern. Now with the shifter tool, I'm going to go ahead and kind of shift these around and, and move them to the areas that I want them uh, to be. So I'm going to get these down here, these ones that are super visible. Shift these around. And you'll notice that these are kind of gray. I'm going to zoom in. Right now these are gray. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility in the background. And you'll notice you can see behind there, but it's kind of grayed out. And the reason why is my symbols are gray. They're 50% gray. And the reason why I set them to that is that I can use the symbol stainer tool with a 50% gray and stain them uh, one of the any of these full colors the, the hue will be applied so I'm going to go ahead and activate my symbol stainer tool and I'm going to go ahead to my knockout black which is just 100% black and I'm going to go ahead and paint these guys you'll see that when they're painted they'll activate you'll see the uh, uh, edges get highlighted and you'll notice 
they seem to be a brighter white, but really they're just transparent because they've been knocked out, which is pretty cool. So I'm done with these set of symbols. I'm going to go ahead and deselect them. I'm still inside of my opacity mask. Go ahead and activate my symbol panel. And let's go ahead and select another one. I'm going to go ahead with these cracks here. Grab my symbol sprayer tool again. And I'm going to zoom in for this one so you guys can kind of see what's going on. So I'm just kind of tapping these guys in with my Wacom tablet. It's just as easy with the mouse. Not anything super difficult. So let's just kind of punch in a few here. I'm going to use the uh, symbol, um, I think it's rotate, or spinner. Um, symbol spinner tool. And I can actually turn these if I want so that they're all not pretty much the same angle. I can kind of shift these around. I like that. I'm going to go ahead with my stainer tool, apply my black. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm actually going to size these down too. So I'm going to size these down in certain areas if I think they're too large. That looks pretty good there. I'll knock these guys down a little bit. That looks pretty good. Let's size that down. And then if I want to shift, I can shift too. Just kind of move these around. Get a little bit, so maybe the S and the H are sharing some of that. Shift that around. That looks pretty good. I think this got missed with the stainer tool, so let's head back to black again and make sure we get them. Yeah, okay. Alright, looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect those. Open the symbols panel again, and let's apply, let's say, okay, these are kind of washed out lines. Get my symbol sprayer tool, close the panel again, slap that in. I like that. The cool thing is, remember, you can stay loose as you want because you can use all these sub-tools and shift around and recolor or rotate. I'm going to keep the angle that these are at, but I am going to shift them around, so let's go ahead and pull that in right there. Let's get this guy up a little bit more, wash out the bottom of those letters. Maybe have this line kind of running through together. Push that in a little bit more, and let's go ahead and maybe scrunch them down a little bit. Certain areas, yeah, scrunch this guy down. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead our stainer, head to black. Alright, make sure we get them all. Let's back out and have a look. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the uh, background again. I like that. And uh, I think that's pretty much done. So that's pretty much the technique. So basically what I'm doing is I'm heading in to the transparency panel. I grab the artwork uh, that I like, copy it make a mask with it and then paste it back in and make sure it's 100% white which will make it visible and then with my symbols and my symbol sprayer tool I paint the symbols on and make sure they're black so they knock out from the opacity mask and that's essentially a technique so there's all sorts of things that you can do to create you know your own um, symbols and apply them and use them to knock them out um, what I'm going to show you also real fast is you cannot edit symbols when you're in a mask uh, I'm going to go ahead and double click to edit if you want to edit these and you'll see it says symbols cannot be edited inside an opacity mask mode so to get out of the mode make sure to click back into your art canvas so um, if you want to edit this artwork you can do that and it will keep um, you'll see that the mask is linked to the layer you can unlink that there's all sorts of techniques you can use with that but let's go ahead and head into uh, let's double click into this and you'll see I'm now in um, edit symbol mode, which is basically its own isolation mode. And here are some of the textures. Um, you can go in here and, you know, you can make these all black. So if you don't want to use the stainer tool, you can do that. If you want to use the technique I'm using, double click into each one and apply. And I'm going to um, hit with my uh, magic wand, double click the color. And you should see, yeah, the brightness is about 49%. You can make that 50%. But um, yeah, it's, it's basically a 50% gray, and that allows me to apply these hues, uh, shades, and tints to um, these symbols. So yeah, you, you'll see here there's a whole bunch of plastisol cracks and fades and distressed lines and, and you know washed out lines, as well as letterpress stuff. So if you really want to knock some stuff out, you can definitely do that. Add fabric textures and all sorts of that stuff. That will be available in the Pixel Mosh Pit store. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys took something from this today. Um, also want to thank you guys if uh, any purchases are made and the people that have purchased our work, you really kind of um, are the reason I, I'm able to keep this channel going. Um, so thank you for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.
sometimes you'll you'll want to be urged to um, like on this style just use a 